Hello and welcome to Phantom Buster. My name is Alex, I'm part of the team here, and I'm going to take you through how to set up your first Phantom. And to do this, I'm going to use LinkedIn Search Expert as an example. So first thing I need to do is find that on our store. You can use the search bar in the top left to search for the Phantom you need, then click on use this Phantom. And this will take you straight to the Phantom's setup. And the first thing that the Phantom will ask you for is your session cookie in order to connect to LinkedIn on your behalf. This is just a way to identify you. And it's very easy to obtain using our browser extension, which you can find for Chrome or for Firefox. Just click the install extension button, and then it's a two click installation. And you'll see it appear on your browser. Then go straight back to the Phantom setup, and you'll see that this button has changed to connect to. Now, as long as you're logged into LinkedIn on your browser, when you click this button, your session cookie will automatically populate the box. So we can save and move on. The next step is where the Phantom needs some input from you. So for LinkedIn search export, we need to tell the Phantom which searches to make on LinkedIn. And you can do this in a few different ways, either by typing in a simple search term, or what you can do is make your search on LinkedIn, as I've already done applying all the relevant filters, and copy the URL in the search bar, paste it directly into your Phantom setup. And finally, if you need to give the Phantom multiple different inputs, you can use a Google Sheet for that. And you can check out our Help Center or our YouTube channel for more information on how to do that. But for now, we're going to stick with a simple search URL. So hit save and move on to the next step. And this is the behavior step. And this step is a little bit more complex and it's very specific to each Phantom. So I'm just going to highlight one important field on this step to you, which is the number of results to scrape per launch. And for this, I'm going to just enter 10. This is the number of results that the Phantom will extract each time it launches. Each of the other fields should be pretty self-explanatory, and you'll even find some advanced settings and result file settings at the bottom of this step as well. But for now, we're just going to move on to the final step, where you'll find both a notifications option where you can choose to have notifications about what your Phantom is doing during its launches. And here you'll also find where you can set up either manual or automatic launches for your Phantom. So by clicking the repeatedly option, you'll see a bunch of automatic launch options. Again, you can find out more about that on our help center or our YouTube channel. It's a great way to be able to spread out the amount of work that your Phantom is doing. But for now, again, we're going to stick to manually. So we'll save. And now that it's all set up, we're going to launch the Phantom. Now, the Phantom runs from the cloud, which means that if you want to shut down your browser or your computer, that's fine. The Phantom will still run, especially if you've set up automatic launches. It will do so as they are timed. And you'll be able to see when your Phantom is running here as well. You can keep track of it using our little progress bar. And once it's finished its launch, you'll see some more information appear on this, the Phantom's console page, including all of its launches, down here, you can click to view log to see more information about each launch. And you'll also find the Phantom's results files right here. Now, one handy little thing is that you can preview this results file to see what results you've got. You can also download the file directly. And once it's downloaded, simply click to open. And there you go. You'll see all the data that the Phantom has extracted for you. Now, each time you launch your Phantom, it will update this same results file so that all of your data will be found in one place. And that's it. Congratulations. You've successfully set up your first Phantom. If you go to the dashboard in your account, you'll be able to see all of the Phantoms that you have set up on your account to keep track of them and operate them from here.